Hi, my name is Jim Dalrymple, and I'm going to give you a quick look at a couple of new features of Logic Pro 9. Logic Studio was released earlier this week, and one of the great features that it has is called Flex Time. Flex Time allows you to control the timing of your music. So if you've ever recorded something that was out of time, and even if it's just a demo, I mean, you want things to, to sound right. So you can instead of re-recording which I've done so many times you can use flex time to straighten up your performance a little bit so what I did here to set up an example is I recorded a, a rhythm guitar track a lead guitar track and then I have a, a drum track from beta monkey music here and just before we start you should know I did record these out of time on purpose so let's take a quick listen and you can see how messy it is that sounds pretty awful uh, so what we're gonna do there's two ways that you can use flex time <clears throat> and if you go up into the menu here you can hide or show flex time so just click that and you'll notice that flex time comes up in each track and we can click here and choose a rhythmic slicing polyphonic for this we'll use monophonic and you can see that we already have uh, some markers set up that flex time has has indicated our markers for uh, the song so we can listen to it and then just click and start to drag and it'll drag the notes so that will allow us to go in and make some changes as we see fit now you can just click on it when you're up top here and add another marker you can also delete the markers if you want so let's take a listen and see where we're really off definitely you can adjust things wherever you want I'm actually going to come in and put those markers in and put one in right there so if you click and just drag it will drag right up to the next marker so Actually, want to move this one a little bit too here. Put a marker in there, and I'm gonna adjust my movements by ticks. doesn't sound very good right there at all so let's move that back just a little bit and give that note some space to breathe and we'll move our adjustment here to just before it starts <laughs> In this one very much so let's move that back. so there that will give you a, an idea of what you can do now you can also go in to these markers and and make some some pretty radical changes uh, to the to the solo now you notice that some of these are orange and some of them are green orange means you're starting to to strip the time out uh, a bit more than what it should be so you see, notice in between there that's red <laughs> and that will become a, a high speed section so no we don't want to do that um, now with flex audio 
you can also come up and quantize the audio if you want. I, I personally don't like to do that, um, but you can do that if you want, and that will just line it all up to the beats and just like you were quantizing uh, MIDI. So that's a quick overview of, of how you would do that um, with individual markers. Now we're gonna, I'm going to show you how to do it with an entire track.